The Practice Smart system has to have everything involved with making a putt. You've got to have a good stroke with the putting system, you've got to have good pace with the metronome, and you've got to be able to read the green right or nothing's going in. So we have the eyeline green reading level. It comes in a, a velour pouch with plenty of padding so you won't break the product. And it is a level that sits on the ground and tells me exactly where the fall line is for every slope. What I've done here is I've kind of scattered some balls around on this, uh, on this putting green to give me some reads. And I'm going to do two things with the level. I'm going to let it teach me how to read greens, and then eventually, as a competitive player, I'm going to use the level to chart greens on courses that I'm going to play competitively. So let's take the first part. How do we use the level in a putt like this? The first thing I would tell you to do is always set the level just in front of the hole where you're going to be putting. And the reason for that is it's going to give me a reading of about six feet what the slope is right here. And as the putt slows down, which is obviously near the hole, that's when gravity will take over and the break will be the most severe. So set the level right in front of the hole, and in this case, you're going to see the bubble tells me that the slope of the green is exactly like this. The fall line is exactly like this. This putt is going to break severely this way. If I were to take this slightly over to the side, we're going to see roughly the same slope. Fall line is going to be like this. This putt is going to break down. This is the one that's the most interesting because as I place this right in front of the hole, I'm going to recognize that this is the exact fall line and that putt is going to be dead straight downhill. It gives me all those elements as I use the green reading level to tell me that. Step up to your putt with the level in your hand not on the ground. Make your read. This, put, this putt looks like it's right edge to me. Okay. Then take the level and let it confirm or deny your read. And what this tells me is that it's severely downhill and it's a little bit right to left. Pretty close read. But it tells me what I need to know. Now the third part of the step is for me to learn it properly. I need to go ahead and execute it and get the feedback that I need. So I'm going to hit this putt where I think the level told me to hit it. And it kind of gives me that chance. Now here's what's going to happen. Occasionally you're going to read the green and you're going to set the level down and they're going to conflict. And your brain is going to begin to process that the level is right, your eyes are going to pick it up, and pretty soon you're going to be a better green reader, guaranteed. So let's talk a little bit about how to chart a green and uh, kind of learn every slope in each green. Keeping in mind that the level gives me a slope of about six feet around. So what I would suggest you do is you kind of break the green up into some grids, take a couple of steps or make take four pin placements that you might like or eight or sixteen. The tour caddies usually use about eighteen. They'll do front, middle, and back. But what we do is we've got we've got the map of the green in our little book. We set the level down. We get a read. In this case, we make a an arrow mark on our chart. In this case, we take a couple more steps, set it down, get our read. So if you're a competitive player and you're playing in an event where you happen to know where the pins might be, say you're a college player, you go out on Monday and the pins are red, green, and blue, use the, use the, the level and, and mark those pins. If you're a high school player or if you're a mini tour player and those things are marked, or, or even a club championship or a member guest, the pins are marked, use the level, get every putt right that you can find. Otherwise, grid the, uh, the greens, get the pins that you think are a little bit um, complex or confusing, get those down, go to your event knowing what you're ready to do.